Here we are going to solve this initial value problem. <clears throat> Solving an initial value problem just means finding the original function f of x that has a derivative of this f prime and also goes to the point 0, 7. So we're given a derivative and a point to go through, and we're going to do three steps to figure out what that original function was. So our first step, if we want to go from f prime back to f of x, that's not going to be taking a derivative. That would be taking an antiderivative. So we're going to take the antiderivative of f prime, which is 2x to the third minus 5x plus 3 with respect to x. So we have f of x, and we're going to keep the constant multiple 2. Add 1 to the power 2 over 3 plus 1 is 4, x to the fourth, minus 5. We have 1 plus 1 is 2, x to the 2. And the antiderivative of 3 is going to be 3x plus c, because it's a constant. So we added 1 to our powers and divided by that new power, and then the antiderivative of a constant is that constant times x plus c. So there's the original function f of x. My first step is done. Now my second step is going to be to figure out what the value of that plus c at the end is. So I am going to plug in 0 for x and see what c would have to be in order to get out 7. So we'd have, well, it starts off with 2 fourths. I'm just going to reduce that. 2 fourths is the same thing as 1 half. And then we have 0 to the fourth minus 5 halves. And we have 0 squared plus 3 times 0 plus c all has to equal 7. Well, this is kind of nice that the x value is 0 because when we do these exponents and then multiply them together, we're just going to get 0 plus c equals 7, which means c has to equal 7. Our third and final step, which isn't really a step, but you just want to make sure that you write your final answer at the end of all this and get full credit. The original function f of x must have been 2 fourths or really 1 half x to the fourth minus 5 halves x squared plus 3x plus 7. There's my final answer for the function that has that derivative that's given and goes to the point 0, 7. Now let's say I'm doing this on a test and I just want to make sure I have the right answer. Let's check this really quick. We'd have to check two things. Do we really get this derivative? And can we really plug in 0 and get 7? So one thing I can check first is the point. So if I plug in 0, I'd have 1 half times 0 to the 4th, which is 0, minus 5 halves times 0 squared, which is 0, plus 3 times 0, 0 plus 7. So do you really get out 7? OK, we definitely went to that point, so that looks good. And then also, if we take the derivative, do we get back to the derivative we were supposed to, the derivative given? So I'm going to bring down the power 1 half of 4. Half of 4 is 2. x cubed. I have minus 5 halves times 2, which is going to be minus 5. Derivative of 3x is 3. And the derivative of 7 is 0, because it's a constant. So our derivative ends up being 2x cubed minus 5x plus 3, which is perfect. Sorry, I forgot to write that x for a second. So we get back to every single term that was given. So it looks like we got the right answer. So if you're ever unsure of an initial value answer, what you'll do is take the derivative, check and see if you get the derivative that was given, and plug in that point, and make sure when you plug in the x that you're given that you get the y that you're supposed to.